There are times when neck placement of an electrolarynx isn't possible, particularly postoperatively when you have fresh wound surgical healing that needs to take place. You're not going to want to put a device against the neck. If the skin integrity is compromised, if there's an open wound, healing issues, or anything else, you're also not going to want to place the device directly against the neck. In those circumstances, the oral adapter is ideal. There's one other situation when there's too much dense fibrous neck tissue, it may be impossible to really achieve adequate vibratory tone within the pharynx that's going to be sufficient to understand speech with. In those cases, you'd always want to use the oral adapter. So we're going to demonstrate the oral adapter um, first myself, and then I'm, I'm going to have you do this. You're articulating with essentially a straw in your mouth, so it does interfere with your articulatory clarity. The key here is to slow down and use more of an open mouth posture when you talk. You don't want the, the end of the adapter too far forward. You want it back where it can resonate a bit more. You don't want it directly to rest against any surface where the tone may be muffled somewhat. You want it to resonate nicely. Then keep it out of the way, the main portion of the tongue, that's where most of your articulation is occurring. Hello, how are you? Okay, I'm gonna have you try. Okay. Hello, how are you? Very good. Now I want to do the same thing with your neck placement, and we'll hear the difference. Open mouth. 